Hello guys and welcome back! If you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm Gaia and I'm a language lover. And you? Today I want to introduce an extremely common verb, a great welcome to the verb FARE. We saw this verb when we talked about Italian infinitive tense. This verb belongs to the first conjugation, but it's one of the four irregular verbs ending in ARE. Let's start seeing the present tense. As I said, even irregular verbs ending in the same way of regular ones, but in those cases change a part of the root of the verb, so you must learn them as they are. Indicativo presente del verbo FARE Io faccio Tu fai Egli fa Noi facciamo Voi fate Essi fanno With the third person singular instead, you have to be very careful because it could be tricky. In a text, you may find this verb written in one of these ways. The one without the accent is the third person singular at the present tense. The one with the apostrophe is the second person singular at the imperative tense. It's an order and it's probably pronounced with more emphasis. We'll see this tense later. The third one is that, so the one written with the accent is absolutely incorrect. Sometimes it's difficult for us Italian too because the pronunciation can trip we up, but you mustn't write the accent. Ok, let's move on to the past tense. Io facevo. Tu facevi. Egli faceva. Noi facevamo. Voi facevate. Essi facevano. In this case, nothing to add. And now the translation. Fare is to do, but is also to make. We don't have the English distinction between the these two verbs. To do homework or to make a cake are both translated with the verb fare. Fare is a very generic verb and could have a lot of different meanings. For example, to do an action, to create something, to give birth someone or something, to celebrate a ritual, to write or grow something, to make a sound and many, many more. This is why I say this verb is extremely common. As usual, more you listen, more you read, easier it will be for you to use correctly this verb. One more thing, open your notebook to the section dedicated to words with two meanings. You will use it more than you thought. Without checking it. Do you remember which the second person plural at the present tense is? Yes, it's fate. That could be a verb, of course, but it's also the plural of this noun. La fata, le fate. It's a feminine noun and means the fairy. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe and follow me also on my Instagram. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Ciao!